Police in Kerezi, Masvingo Province, yesterday banned the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CC campaign, S rally, and fired tear gas canisters to disperse the gathering of hundreds of party supporters. Dealing yet another significant blow to efforts to level the political playing field ahead of the harmonized elections on August 23rd. Nelson Chamisa, the leader of the CCC, was scheduled to speak at the gathering at Chowani Stadium before the party's electoral manifesto was released on Saturday in Bindura. Mashanaland Central Province. Police said that the Kiredzi march was prohibited because it conflicted with the state event and did not adhere to the security criteria outlined in Section 8 of the Preservation of Peace and Order Act Chapter 1123. According to Section 8 of the Preservation of Peace and Order Act Chapter 1123, the notification has not been approved. A police announcement dated July 3, 2023 stated that the official opening of the Rosenangiko Clinic in Keredzi by the Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution would be a state occasion, on which all resources would be concentrated. The CCC spokeswoman, Fetzei Meyer, confirmed the prohibition but insisted that they would continue on their objective to infiltrate purported ZNU-PF strongholds despite it. ZNU-PF has been astonished by our widespread rural penetration movement and get out to vote campaign in Keredzi and Chikombeza. There is no stopping us. The actions of today demonstrate unequivocally that ZNU-PF will never prevail in a free and fair election. Which is why they are using rally bans and abusive police tactics to try to halt our campaigning. They are more scared, unviable, and dangerous than Robert Mugabe, the late president. Notwithstanding this unconstitutional behavior, we persist. President Nelson Chamisa is continuing his visit to the province of Masvingo as part of his presidential tour, visiting with residents in places like Keredzi and Chikombezi as well as local traditional and community leaders. We are winning the hearts and minds of Zimbabweans as ZNUPF seizes state institutions to forbid our rallies. We are creating a Zimbabwe that is open to all. The restriction comes as the opposition is protesting the unfair playing field where the ruling ZNU-PF party is permitted to carry out its programs unencumbered while police and other state security agents are being utilized to obstruct opposition activities. Police had previously interfered with Chumisa's rallies on several occasions. Before to the by-elections in March of last year, the police prohibited a number of his campaign events. And others turned violent as a result of infiltration by alleged ZNU-PF supporters. Love Mohamed Huku, a constitutional lawyer and the leader of the National Constitutional Assembly, claimed yesterday that his party sessions had also been disrupted. Madhuku stated that the electoral reforms put forth in 2018 must be implemented before the playing field is level. We lament it, but part of the issue is that we as opposition did not do enough to ensure that these laws are altered and now they are being used against us, the speaker said. We need improved laws, but until then, parties must adhere by the law and where possible, strive to avoid running afoul of the law because we don't want another election like the one in 2008. We want a new election in 2023.